Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Let's begin Chapter 3-3 proper. What do we have? Oh, we have a green herb. Let's take it. And in the... Oh, five shotgun shells. We'll take that. A dessert to cherish our remaining years. Okay. Bread begins the meal of life. Bread is important, yes. <laughs> Meat to savor the time at hand. Alright. One last drink and the bottle breaks, returning us to the dust from whence we came. Alright. There's a bell here, let's ring it. So, is it, let's see. Uh, dessert to check, but we want to start at the beginning. So, bread... Uh, begins the meal of life, and then it's meat to savor the time at hand, and then dessert. I guess that's the fruit to cherish the t uh, the remaining years, something like that. And then one last drink, and the bottle breaks. I said one last drink, and the bottle breaks. Thank you. <laughs> and you open the door. You don't have to uh, shoot everything. You just have to. Uh, break the bottle which I, I would have liked it if you had to shoot each one yes it would have taken more ammo but I think that would have been really neat but before we go that way we're gonna come into this room because there's a lot of goodies to grab here uh, we'll take the green herb I would have liked it to where you had to uh, shoot the the bread and then shoot the meat and then shoot the dessert which would be the uh, fruit from what I can see. I don't see anything else really dessert there And then one last drink and then shoot the bottle So let me know what you think I, I think that would have been a Cooler way to do it even though it would have taken more more uh, more ammo okay. Oh, no, you don't There would be a snake in here somewhere about you no Maybe one of these barrels, huh? Spinel. Alright. Break this. And that's what was keeping you from going into that door. Yeah, this is the one where it was locked and we had to go around into the hedge maze because of that lock. Now it's open, you can go back that way. Anytime you want. And there's a save point over there too, which is really nice. Alright. Once you've gathered everything, don't miss the 5k, that's really nice. And you've opened the door. Oh, that must be the treasure that we're looking for. Yeah. What? Oh! Oh, joy! That's right, you're put in here with, uh, Mr. Crazy. Ow. Now, you can get out. But there's a lock on the door, which is not so good. An easy way to get out is to use a is to use an explosive, like your grenade, like so. And I'm gonna eat this chicken egg. There we go. Then get out. And he's still behind me. I know that. But he also has a chance to uh, impale his his comrades, which is really funny. So we're gonna run back here because this is what I like to do you don't have to stay in the room oh hell no <laughs> so I don't because I don't have to <laughs> because why I can come back here and suplex enemies. And then I can have the entire way to look down with a rifle if I want to. Now, of course, Mr. Uh, Ugly's still there. But that's okay. You've got a few options. Doesn't know where you're at now. 
Turn around for me. Like, how do you know to come through the doorway? I call shenanigans. You're blind. Right? You know? That's, that's cheating AI if I ever saw it. Turn around. Yeah, like that. Haha, uh -huh. table's in your way. Turn around. Thank you. And three shots and he's dead. Simple enough, right? A lot of people, like, fight in the room. I don't understand that. The door doesn't lock. Run. <laughs> I'm taking everything as an advantage, including going all the way back. Having that long hallway? Yes, please. Why take the risk of fighting in the room? Now, of course, there's still other enemies here in said room. Including the crossbow guy. That's really who I want to shoot more than anybody. There he is. Whoa! Oh, you're dead. Good. In here, we have a flash grenade. Go ahead and take that. That could come in handy. Now, as you see, they're locked in. Which is funny. So, I'm just going to leave them there. Because... Yeah, why not? Again, not taking risk. So, yeah, if you try to shoot the lock off with a pistol or a weapon, it takes a lot of shots, and you want to get out of there as quickly as possible. So, like I said, what I like to do, just if you have, hopefully you have a hand grenade. If you have a hand grenade, just throw it and get out. If you don't, use whatever strongest weapon you have. Whether that be a... Uh, the shotgun. The, the shotgun would probably be your best bet. There we go. Hi. One last person. Well, surely nothing bad can come of this. <laughs> oh, two more people. Come on. I am in no rush. I really I know this may seem tedious and boring to you, but to me, it's safe. <laughs> and that's what matters to me. It's safe. And I may be using more pistol ammo, but I'm only using pistol ammo. You're dead. There we go. We're running here real fast. I hear you. We're gonna grab the uh, hourglass with decor. Where'd the ammo go? Don't tell me the ammo disappeared right when I got in here. So that's really lame. Oh, come on. I knifed your knee. Get off. Lame. The ammo disappeared, which is the main reason I came in there. It's for the ammo. Ugh. Why game? Alright, let's heal and get more max life. Yay. It's always a good thing. And we'll move on. So, there you go. An easy way to take care of or an easier way to take care of this entire room. A much, much more safe way as well. Alright, now we head through this door. Alright. I sense enemies. I hear enemies. As a matter of fact. 
Oh, this this is too good. This is too good to pass up. I see the person up there as well. Like, I get that, but... Now, we know I'm not the greatest at throwing grenades, but... Really, that was still too short? Fine, whatever. I have... No, just don't say anything. Don't, don't say anything. I know I'm terrible at throwing grenades. It's because he doesn't have the arm like I think he does. He should. I don't know where they made it where you don't throw it very far. Oh, come on. Shut up. Not in the mood. Very high. So, this is a new type of, uh, of parasite. I'll deal with it in a second. So, don't flash grenade. I don't think you can flash grenade it now. Yes, you actually can't flash grenade this now. Once you shoot it, however, look, it's not dead. That's right, it comes for you. Now, while it's like this, however, it's not as dangerous. It doesn't insta-kill you like this. It will do damage, but it won't insta-kill you. Now, it will insta-kill you while it's still attached to the person, so be wary. Oh, I don't want to reload you. What's your... Capacity 14? Uh, I'd rather try to save the ammo. Hi! Now, it doesn't take a lot of hits after it's gone like that either. See, not a, not too dangerous, but just know, it does insta-kill. It can. While it's still attached to the person. You know that. Just be careful. Shoot it. And then just know it's going to come after you right after that. But just a few... But heck, you can knife it. Hi. Um, can't do that. I just knocked the door right into him, which you can do. I don't think I've gotten a chance to really show that off too much. All right. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. Shotgun herb. Hmm, I'd like some more handgun ammo. Jump down. There's a ladder there. We'll break the uh, we'll break the pots. I could take this. Money. Lever. Grab everything. Okay. Operate the lever. And now you have a way to get across. Hooray, right? <laughs> Climb back up. Break this. Rifle ammo. <laughs> Hooray. Yeah, I was about to say, I heard something way too close. Back off. I say, that didn't come from the other side of the door. <laughs> You, I'm not taking chances. Now I'll knife you. Die, please. Lame. Oh, no, I really should reload you. Darn it. No, not playing that. Thank you. And cash. Alright, now we can go this way. Quickly shoot that and burn the uh, shield guys because we don't like shield guys and they don't deserve... Huh. And they don't deserve to live. How dare you not get burnt by that. Oh, you fell down. 
Lame. <laughs> Boy, things just haven't gone right this <laughs> this episode, have they? And rifle ammo, sweet. Yeah, I was about to say, he didn't die. I heard him fall off, but he didn't die. Come on. Now he may be dead. Ooh. Handgun ammo, all right. Now let's move on. <laughs> I was hoping to catch them all with the flame. Uh, let's see. We can go that way. That's the way we need to go for the merchant and everything. But, hi. Since I already reloaded this, you're just out of luck. Yes, the guy has a has a uh, head, so you can't headshot him. But, he doesn't have that much health being a crossbow person. And the rifle will be more than enough. What's here? 1800 cash. Um, jump down. And say hello to goodness. Handgun ammo. The incinerary, an incinerary grenade. Rifle ammo. Shotgun shells. And a rocket launcher. Yes, I want the rocket launcher. Now the fun part will be making room for said rocket launcher. But I will, because we're taking the rocket launcher. <laughs> so let's see. As we go about manipulating the, uh, the inventory. Give me just a second while I mess around with the inventory. Okay, there we go. I used one of the first aid sprays to go ahead and full heal, and I threw away the three pistol bullets. And one of the incendiary grenades, sadly, but... Heck, I missed with two already, so... <laughs> Maybe that wasn't such a bad thing. So we can carry a rocket launcher. Why? Because it's nice to have. Do major damage to any target. Single fire. Boom. Laugh. I'll use this later. It'll sit in the inventory for now. Now that doesn't leave you with a lot of inventory space. I have one slot left. <laughs> for like an egg or something. But uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll be able to manage. Uh, there's still a person here, wherever the heck he went. There he is. Yeah, he was on the other side of the door. There we go. Okay. We'll reload the shotgun. Still two bullets left in that. There is a... Flash grenade here, but we can't take it. But that's okay. The rocket launcher is really handy to have. <laughs> Plus, you don't have to pay for this one. This one's free. Saves you 30k. Hooray! And also, you can now go through this door. And just go back around. Easy enough, right? As you see, there's a merchant up ahead. And I hope this merchant has what I want. 15,000. Spinel, that's nice. Hi, merchant. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. You do, don't what you? What are you buying? This is the Case XL, the largest case available. 8x15, 120 boxes. This is 8x12. This is 8x15. It costs 73,000 cash. Another reason I've been saving up so much money. Is that all? <laughs> Thank but you. But now we have it. <laughs> I believe that's all he has, yes. 
Nothing else new but the case. But the case is extremely important. Please grab the case. What are you buying? Uh, nothing new can be tuned up. That's okay. This is why. This is why you grab the case. Look. Three extra columns of, of stuff you can carry. Now, you can go get the merchant upgrade and then come back and, and grab the, uh, the rocket launcher. But that would spoil the fun for you all, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, yes, I sacrificed a first aid spray and three bullets of handgun ammo and a incinerary grenade to have a little fun. Meh. It was worth it. Uh, there's also this uh, two times green herb. I combined two green herbs. But we still have a spare green herb for whatever comes our way. Okay, good. But yes, this case uh, helps a lot. You can carry a lot more stuff in it. Like I said, this is the biggest case you're going to get. Enjoy it. And just know the rocket launcher is going to take up two slots. But really, it'll be worth it. We have a save point here. I don't know because of the cut. I didn't take that long organizing the inventory, I don't think. We'll go ahead and save. And I'm going to end this episode here. Since we just hit a save point, next time we're going to head through the door. And that's our destination, as you can see. We're on the other side of the destination. So, who knows what will await us. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.